Soon, starlight will scatter through the dark. So let's all look up at Stargazing Park. Hello. Are you ready to do some stargazing with us? Last night, we looked up at the moon. There's plenty more to see. All we have to do, are you ready, everybody? All you have to do is look up. Falls. Maggie helps us see wonders of the stars above us all. Turn the lights low, grab a cosy rug, wrap up warm and snug. Here we go. We're going stargazing. Gaze at stars shining bright. We're going stargazing. Spot a zooming satellite. We're going stargazing. Glimpse the moon and the planets above We're going stargazing So just look up, look up, look up Come and join us underneath the stars Hi, Chris. Hi, stargazers. Hello, Maggie. Welcome to the stargazing park. Now, what can we see up there? Last night, we saw a beautiful moon. Can anyone see the moon tonight? No, because no. it's too dark and a little bit cloudy. Yeah, they're blocking the view, which is one of the problems with stargazing. When it's cloudy, it makes it very hard. Can anyone see anything moving up there? I can see I can see the clouds moving and the flashing light in in the sky. A flashing light? Do you think that's an aeroplane? Yeah. Who else is looking for things moving in the night sky? It's Robert the robot. Oh, hello, stargazers. We're trying to spot a comet, aren't we? Yeah. Yes, that's right. Come on, let's have a look. Ooh. Spin my cogs. I've struck cosmic gold already. I see a comet. I see a comet. I see dust. Oh, dear. That's embarrassing. Oh, dear. I can't let Maggie see a pair of dusty binoculars. I mean, she's a proper space scientist. Oh, quick, stargazers. Let's find that comet. See you in a bit. Well, I hope Robert gets to spot a comet. Is there a chance we could see one tonight, Maggie? It's unlikely, but if we keep on looking and the, and the clouds clear, they're made of rock and ice, and they travel around the sun. And so, because they travel around the sun, you only see them every so often when they come close to Earth. Well, I have these binoculars. Might I be able to see one through binoculars? Uh, possibly. OK, let's have a look, let's have a look. Is there anything in the sky? Oh, is that a comet? No, that's just a bright star. Oh, OK. Keep looking. Is that a comet? No, that's an aeroplane. Oh. How would we know if it's a comet? Oh, comets are quite distinctive because yeah. they have long tails coming out behind them. Why does a comet have a tail? That's a very good question. And I know a clever robot that might be able to help. Robert, can you help us? Downloading Cosmic Comet app. <laughs> Space Star Ellis Comet. <laughs> Ground control to major when you wish upon a rocket man. Oh, oh, right, uh, shall we see what's first, stargazers? <laughs> to make your comet, the first ingredient is dust. I'm sure we could find some dust around here, don't you think so, stargazers? Yeah! And what is it that robots love to do best? Dusting! That's right, let's dust! A die die, a die die die, a die 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 die, a die 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 die. Let's see what we've got. Oh! Well done, stargazers. Excellent dusting! Do you know what? You should come down to Justin's house. We'd have the place spick and span in no time. Right, let's see what's next. Place the dust. Into the mixing bowl. Yeah. Oh, right. Well, let's pop that in here. Let's put our dust or silicates into the mixing bowl. There we go. Next, add the vinegar 
and water. Oh, right, vinegar and water. Vinegar from Justin's chips. And we add some water. Here we go. So a little bit of H2. Well, Robert, not too much. <coughs> to make your comet, you must freeze it. <coughs> oh, right, here comes the science part. Now, viewers, it's very important you don't try this at home or you, stargazers. Only robots and space scientists like Maggie can try this. And remember to stand well back. Ah, so to freeze it, I have some super cold C O two. Ah, and one more for good measure. And ah, oh, look at that, everybody! Is it oh. a bit like making a snowball? It is like making a snowball, a big, dusty, dirty snowball. Oh, look at that! We've made a comet. Look! I wonder what's next. <laughs> Next, you must name your comet, like Comet Brian. Yeah, that's enough out of you. Right, stargazers, what do you think we should call this comet? Robert. Comet Robert! What? Comet Robert, really? Oh, what an honour! Oh, well, th thank you, Comet Robert. Right, well, shall we see what happens when Comet Robert gets near the sun? Yeah! All right, let's have a look. So, whoa, there goes Comet Robert getting near the sun. Look at that! When the comet gets near the sun, it gets hotter. But the frozen bits don't turn to water. Oh, no. They turn straight into a gas. And that gas combines with all the dust and the dirt inside the comet, and it forms the comet's beautiful tail. And that is how a comet gets a tail. <gasps> I just realized we've done it. We've helped space scientist Maggie answer her question for today. Yeah! Dumb stargazers! Now, would you like to see Comet Robert go hurtling through space all the way around the sun? Yes! Excellent! Well, this will require one of my inventions. Come back later, stargazers, when we'll see Comet Robert go hurtling off into space! Excellent science knowledge, Robert. Thank you so much for answering Oliver's question. It's every astronomer's dream to have a comet named after them. Now, who would like to play a game of pin the tail on the comet. <laughs> Sophia, would you like to have a go? Now, what you have to do, take a look on this tray because these are asteroids. Oh, there's a meteor, a lot smaller, but there's a comet there as well. And here is the tail. Can you put the tail on the comet? To make it tricky, pull down your hat over your eyes so you can't see. So you're just going to use your fingers to find the icy comet. See if you can find the comet. Can you find the comet? <laughs> she getting Straight closer. In there. Yes, oh. right there. So we've got our icy comet with a tail. This time, let's make the meteors and asteroids hurtle around, as well as that comet. <laughs> it's hurtling, it's hurtling. Oh. <laughs> oh. Back again, towards back you, again. towards you, towards you, hey, towards you. Yeah. you got it. Yeah. She's got it. I think you've got it. Oh. Yeah. Thank you very much, Imogen. Well, that's one comet with its tail. Let's find out if Comet Robert gets to hurtle through space. Right, Comet Robert goes into the Comet of Porter 2001. There we go. Oh, spin my cogs, I'm so excited. Now, stargazers, to the launch button. Come on. Here we go. Oh, right, now, guys, count down from three. Here we go. And three, three two, two, one. Blast off! I thought that was going to go further. That, that is disappointing. You see, comets travel through space for millions of years, and hmm. Still, we had fun making Comet Robert, didn't we? Yes! yes! <laughs> nice try, Robert. Imagine if we were to see a new comet. We could call it Comet Maggie. I'm going to see if I can spot a comet now through the window. Well, 
I've come up high to see if I can spot a comet. The last time I saw one, I was only nine years old. And I remember that my dad was so excited for me to see it. He rushed into my bedroom. I was still asleep in my pyjamas, got me out of bed and tipped me over to the windowsill. That comet was called Halley's Comet after the man that first spotted it. The next time you're going to get the chance to see it, you're probably going to be as old as your nana or your granddad is now. But don't worry, you don't have to wait until you are a granny or a granddad. There are other comets that do visit Earth, and some of them don't even have names yet, as they haven't been spotted by anyone else. So if you do see one, maybe you could name it after you. Well, we didn't manage to find a comet for Maggie, but we have got a surprise for her. Are you ready, stargazers? Yeah! Oh, great, great, great. Maggie, Maggie, are you free? Hi, what's happening? We have a surprise for you. Are you ready, stargazers? Ready, steady, go! What is it? An icy core with a long tail going round the sun. It's a comet! I've got to get a photograph of this. <laughs> That's brilliant, guys! Do you know what the comet's name is? No. What's it called? Comet Maggie! Comet Maggie, just for you. Thank you so much. That's a dream come true for me. You are brilliant, stargazers. Time to get cosy for a starlight story. All the stars have stories to tell. I wonder what the story will be tonight. Starlight scattered through the dark Painting stories for us all Gather underneath the stars And hear their wonders told Looking up into the dark the night is yours and it is mine Looking up into the dark The dark upon us all Upon us all the stars will shine Upon us all the stars will shine Everybody look up because I wonder whose story the stars are going to tell tonight. Draco the Dragon Draco the Dragon wished to race and secretly to win. He made a comet from ice and dust. A super speedy thing. Off they hurtled through the stars. Spinning round Saturn. Waving at Mars. Tails growing bigger as they neared the sun. Their racing and chasing had just begun. The comet raced off and Draco gave chase, chasing the comet to outer space. Then back they hurtled through the stars, spinning round Saturn, waving at Mars. Tails growing bigger as they neared the sun. Racing and chasing was excellent fun. Well, that was a story of just a few stars, but there are billions more to spot. And you can see them on star maps on the CBBS website. There we are. Thank you very much for joining us for stargazing tonight. And thank you, Maggie. It's been a pleasure. And we'll see you all for more stargazing tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye-bye.